There's still this meeting to change somebody's life. Nothing you have today that is not given to you by God. This is what to do before your interview. This is what to do before your presentation. This is what to do before what you are afraid of. Pray in the spirit. Genesis 26, verse 1. 12, 14 is the anchor team for the month and ministering on supernatural increase part 2. Genesis 26 verse 1 talk about famine in the land. Verse 12 talk about what Isaac did. Isaac sowed in the land and Isaac got a hundredfold return. The Lord blessed him. Verse 13, he was strong. He went forward. He grew until he became very great and a whole nation envied one man because of the progress this man made. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. We don't have a special problem. What you are going through is not peculiar. It's not special. There is no temptation that has happened to us that is not common to man. What you are going through, someone else is going through it. Somebody has been through it and he came out of it. Somebody will go through it. Another person will still come into your shoe. So you do not have a peculiar problem. There is no temptation back to that scripture that has happened to us, that has taken us such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Somebody shout God is faithful. faithful. Who in the midst of the challenge will make a way of escape? What a mighty God we serve. Before the trouble, he already made a way of escape. And he's saying, in famine, my son, I already created a window for you. You will eat for life. And that's what happened during worship this morning. Somebody just went to the sacred place and you take of the showbread. You know, you take of those things that will satisfy you for life. Someone is saying, amen, you will never be hungry again. You will never look for what satisfy again. Because the Lord has satisfied you. Can I hear if I have a mentor that? Yeah. That's what 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 is saying. Nothing you're going through that is special. In the midst of the temptation, challenge, trouble, circumstances, God says, I also make a way of escape so that they can bear it. If you are facing anything, it's because you have capacity to face it. God will not allow you to be tempted beyond you are able to bear And in the midst of the challenge, there is a way of escape. There is something God has provided for this time for you to come out of this challenge. And I prophesy this week there will be testimony. Testimony of great deliverance. Testimony of the hand of God. Miracle everywhere this week. In the name of Jesus, your own thing will happen this week. In the precious name of Jesus. Job 22, 29, another scripture for the men. More men, when men are cast down, we will be shouting, we are lifted. Then we went into um, just analyzing 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. God always make a way of escape for his people in famine. Supernatural increase is real. God always creates an avenue for his people to shine in famine. When darkness covered the earth, gross darkness the people, the Lord will arise upon you. How come he has singled somebody else and said, hey, I will arise upon you. Then if you go back to that scripture, verse 2, he said, and my glory shall be seen upon you. Others see darkness, they see glory on you. Others experience darkness, but we see glory on you. You want to give Isaiah 60 verse 2. Darkness we cover the earth. He said in the midst of darkness both the Lord shall. I like this but. The both the Lord shall rise upon you. And his glory shall be seen. I prophesy this June. When we see you we see glory. When we see you we see exploit. Listen to me. There is something you are not thinking about. 
out on this Sunday morning, but I prophesy this morning, as you leave church today, this week, there will be amazing turnaround. It's not in the agenda for the week, but God, something great, something good, something worth testifying about. This week, amazing turnover in business, amazing sales, and cost, customer made from heaven. They are coming this week. Job made from heaven. Husband made from heaven. Testimony made from heaven. I see your package of testimony arriving this week. Your bundle of joy arriving this week. So there's something you are not thinking about. It's not in the plan. It may not even be in 2024 plan. May God just say, hey, my son, it's time. My daughter, it's time. If that person is in church, let your amen be the loudest. It will come to pass. God always make a way of escape for his people. Supernatural increase is real. Israelite, subject matter, they were in bondage for 430 years. God himself said, I, Exodus 3.21, I will give these people favor and when they go, they shall not go empty. When they end June, they will not end it empty. I think those people are online. When they end June, they will not end it empty. So 430 years of slavery ended by a statement. When they go, they will not go empty. This is what the Lord is saying to us. The Lord always make a way of escape. They have suffered for 430 years, but God says they will not go empty. This month, God will surprise you. Amen. All you need to do is just obey him. Follow his instruction. Whatever he says to you, do it. That is where your increase is, your deliverance is. Israel left Egypt. They left slavery after 430 years of suffering. Someone, you are going to leave suffering. Amen. Leave begging. Amen. Leave borrowing. Amen. And they didn't just leave empty and they left with gold, with silver. They couldn't carry it. They put it on their children. They put it on their camel. They left heavy. They slept as slave. Woke up a billionaire. Woke up, woke up blessed. It's going to happen this month of June. You will end June loaded. Testimony you are expecting will happen this month. And that's not the only thing. After they left Egypt, for 40 years, God was feeding them with food made in heaven. We read in Psalm 78 verse 25. Psalm 20, 78, 25. He says, men eat angels' food. They, he sent them meat to the food. Can you imagine? When you need meat, you ought to kill the chicken. You ought to kill the cow. You ought to kill the goat. But these people, God garnished the meat, fried the meat, and rain it from heaven. He gave them angel food. I didn't know angel eat food. We'll go back to that scripture. The Bible says, men did eat angels' food for 40 years. Even though they didn't appreciate it, because anything you don't labor for, you never appreciate. He gave them for free. What God just did, and I, I, I'm trusting God, maybe in the course of this month, we should look at the subject, the windows of heaven. Where God can just open that window and throw something out. <laughs> Who's going to catch something out? <laughs> Man did eat angels food. Then he gave them meat until they are satisfied. What will satisfy you this month of June? Heaven will release to you. <laughs> gave them meat to the food. He fed them for 40 years. Food cooked, baked in heaven. Bread baked in heaven. I remember Pastor Deboe sharing the story Parki Dayomi shared with him. Parki Dayomi is the founder of Redeem and that handed over to Pastor E. Adeboe. And um, in one of those messages, he said, in the early days of Redeem, they had plenty. You know, you won't confess scarcity. Food was surplus, money was surplus. He said, one of those days, the wife of Parki Dayomi went to Baba and said to Baba, 
there is no food in the house. Uh, food is plenty in the house. And uh, the soup is almost finishing. And he said, pack it out. And he says, it will never finish. Somebody shout, it will never finish. <laughs> yeah. The money in your bank account, it will never finish. <laughs> but I said, it will never finish. He said, what you need to do, he said, every time we need to eat, put the soup on fire, warm it, don't look into it, scoop it out, and, and serve me. And the thing that was almost finishing, the woman will go there, he will put it on fire, scoop it, put it, and he was carrying orishi orishi that it didn't cook. Men ate angels' food and put in their plate, and Sam Baba and Baba did eat. And for several days, they were eating like that. The woman would put the thing on fire, would scoop it. I know if you are the wife, you will never. You. God is going to surprise you if you follow instruction. Don't look at it. You know why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things we see are temporal. If you major on this pain, you will not go anywhere. You need to ignore the pain and say, ah, my leg or no, my leg, I'm going to church. My leg or no, my leg, I'm going to serve God. Can I hear amen from someone? Yeah. Don't major on what you can see. Then the woman keep dishing. They will eat, Baba will eat, the children will eat, the wife will eat from this invisible pot. And according to Pastor Debo, he said, one day, that woman said, ah, this thing we have been eating. Let me look at it. And it was empty. And that was the last time. So she already looked. And this time around, she wants to scoop. <laughs> you can't scoop. Mawo, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't, don't look at it. Someone this month need to walk by faith. Not by what you can see. What you can see will, will deceive you. Will tell you you are not able. If you continue to look at your tutu, you will say to yourself, I can't get there. But who told you? You are going to employ distinction one one. <laughs> Is there anything like one one? What do you call people who have distinction? For, no, no. Um, second class upper two one. Second class lower, 2-2. Two, two. First class is 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. You have 2-2, two, two. you will employ first class. I know you don't understand what I'm talking about. But don't look at it. Stop looking into the pot. Just look away and scoop. Mm, this week. Look away and scoop. Stop looking at what you don't have. Look away and believe God. Stop looking about uh, on your inability. I don't. I can't speak English like they speak English. Who tells you that they use English to get to the top? Mercy does not speak grammar. For what mercy has here? Mercy is loaded. Loaded. Blooded, the greatest footballer of all time. You may, de you may debate it. You may debate it. You may debate it. But I choose to align with Sam. Sam, we, we choose to align on this matter. I choose to align with him. Greatest of all time. And he doesn't speak one sentence of English. You speak English to him, he will speak back to you. Spanish, um, Brazil, Portuguese, that's what he speaks. Then you say to yourself, say, ah, my problem is English language. My woe. My woe. Just scoop. Just focus and focus on your strength. Don't focus on your inability. Don't look at what you don't have. There is something about you that is unique. The people that you thought have what you don't have, they are looking up to you. There is something about you. But you keep looking at others. I don't have bone straight. They use bone straight to go to heaven. They use bone straight to marry. That's the healing word for someone here this morning. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I don't have what you have, but there is something unique 
about me. About me. Comparing themselves with themselves, they are not wise. They are not wise. I'm not going to look at you. I thank God for what God is doing in your life, but I am unique. Fearfully and wonderfully made by God. You want to see Jesus, you want to see God, just look at Joseph. I'm God. Have I not said to you, you are God. And all of you are the children of the Most High. Let's look up to him. I'm still looking about uh, on our inability. I told you that the Israelites, despite eating angel food, they didn't appreciate it. In fact, in Psalm, they said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? They cried for meat. He gave them meat to the food. He gave them meat. Can you imagine? You are crying, Lord, I don't have chicken, I don't have chicken. And then in the morning, you just wake up and you want to go out. And here on your doorstep, heaps of roasted chicken. Roasted chicken. You didn't kill, you didn't fry, you didn't roast. Waiting for you. Then you just take it into your house. I'm hearing prepare blessing this week. Central Bank. According to the Bank of America. According to the Bank of England. According to his riches. There is something called the riches of his glory. Permit me, I call it sea never dries. The riches of his glory. You go there, you draw as and when needed. She never dry. You draw and they don't feel it. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches. If you depend on your uncle, after giving you five times, uncle will complain. Can I shock you? Sometimes if you depend on your parents, biological parents, after some time, they will complain. Has anybody had anything like this from their parents? Secondary school is the maximum I can send you. 
after that, after secondary school, take care of yourself. Do I have a witness in church this morning? There are another category. I can only take care of you. Take care of your siblings. I have tried to send you to university. From now, you are your own. But if you have access to where your father draw from and don't depend on the biological father, my God will supply my need according to the riches of his glory. Lord, this week I am open to the riches of your glory. I'm open to draw from the source that I will not be hungry again. Can we close this meeting just praying that scripture? Lord, I am exposed to the riches of your glory. Lord, I have access to the riches of your glory. Somebody lift up your voice and pray for yourself. Draw from the eternal source. Lord, I am exposed to the riches of your glory this Sunday morning. I draw from the eternal source. I draw from the river that I will test no more. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Somebody lift up your voice and speak about that situation this morning. This week I pay all my debt. This week I walk out of debt. Holy Ghost, direct traffic of material things. Direct it on my step, on my way this week. My God shall supply all my needs. Ooh, when the glory comes, there will be nowhere to stay. This week, this week, this week. When you see the glory this week, there will be no way to stay. You'll be amazed at the testimony. Happening more than eternal worth of glory coming. Yes, Lord. Surprise you this week. My God will surprise you this week. Now pray, pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray the Holy Ghost. My God shall supply all my needs. There is a word of glory coming this week. There is a word. Proceed to speak with friends desirous of helping you grow in your newfound faith by dialing the numbers on display. Connect with more teachings and messages on Pastor Joseph Aborowa via these social media handles. If you have been blessed by this teaching and would want to sow a seed towards promoting the work of God, go ahead to do so using the following bank account details. Worship with us at any of our branches worldwide as displayed on your screen.